Extracellular components and connections coordinate cellular activity. Some components are cell wall found in plants, extracellular matrix or ECM, and intercellular junction. Now let's travel to the cell wall, which distinguishes plant cells from animal cells. The plant cell provides structure and protection to the cell. It is made up of cellulose fibers embedded in polysaccharides and proteins. The cell wall keeps the shape of the cell as well as providing a filtering me mechanism to keep cells from overexpanding with water. Now, let's not look at an overview of a cell anymore. Let's look at a picture of the actual cell wall. As you can see, there are three components to the cell wall. Primary cell wall, which is thin and flexible. The middle lamella, which is a thin layer between the primary walls of other adjacent cells and the secondary cell wall, which is between the plasma membrane and the primary cell wall. There is also something called the plasmata, which is channels between adjacent plant cells that is not shown in this picture. Extracellular matrix, also known as ECM, are only found in animal cells. There are three classes of molecules that are found. Structural proteins, known as collagens and elastigens. Protein polysaccharide complexes to embed the structural proteins, known as protoglycans. And adhesive glycoproteins to attach shells to the matrix, which are known as fibroantins and laminins. The extracellular matrix functions to support, adhese, help move, and help regulate many things in the cell. Collections of ECM secreted by the cell provide structural and biochemical support to the surrounding cells. Neighboring cells in tissues, organs, or organ systems often adhere, interact, and communicate through physical contact. Intercellular junctions help them communicate in many ways. Plasmodesmata only occurs in plant cells. During plasmodesmata, microscopic channels which transverse the cell walls of the plant cells and some algal cells, enabling transport and communication between, this, between them. Cell walls are not continuous in plasmodesmata. Now let's go to a junction that's um, a little tighter, called the tight junction. Tight junctions are found in animal cells. Membranes of neighboring cells are pressed together so tightly that leakage of extracellular fluid is impossible. A tight junction can be seen in the human body between the bladder and the stomach. Desmosis is only found in animal cells and is known as the anchors. Desmosis fastens cells together into small sheets. Gap junctions are only found in animal cells. They are known as the communicators. They provide a cytoplasmic channel between adjacent cells to aid in communication. Extracellular fluids are fluids that are not contained within the cell. This fluid is often secreted by the cell to provide a constant environment for the cell to carry out the cellular operations it needs to survive. <laughs>